Most cnidarians, such as Obelia, have life cycles that alternate between polyp and medusa generations. In Obelia, the most conspicuous stage is the polyp. This stage of the Obelia life cycle is actually a colony of many interconnected polyps that share a single gastrovascular cavity. In the Obelia colony, the polyps take on different functions. Some have stinging tentacles that are specialized for capturing prey and feeding, while others are specialized for reproduction. The reproductive polyp produces, by asexual means, tiny medusa body forms. These medusae grow and bud off from the parental tissue. The medusae nearest the tip of the polyp are the most mature and are the first to leave the parent animal. Because they can swim, the medusae help disperse the species in the sea. A medusa may be male or female. Male and female medusae have gonads which produce sperm and eggs, respectively. The medusae reproduce sexually by releasing their sex cells into the water. The sperm cells meet and fertilize the eggs, which become the single-celled zygotes of the next generation. A zygote begins to divide and develops into an immature larval stage called a planula. A planula, which is covered with cilia, swims to a substrate and settles there. It grows and develops into the polyp body form. A single polyp of Obelia becomes a colony of polyps through asexual budding. Some of the polyps differentiate into the reproductive forms that, in turn, bud off medusae. The medusae will swim away and begin another round of the cnidarian life cycle.